So uh, where does this money come from that the VCs are investing? When they go out and raise $150 million, uh, sometimes it's personal money of the managers if they're really high net worth individuals. More often than not, they're raising it from their own investors, uh, which they call LPs, limited partners. Okay, So a limited partner is someone who has made a commitment to invest in a venture capital fund. So the VC managers, the partners, are really serving their limited partners. That's what they're trying to do is make their limited partners money and make themselves money at the same time. So they're not necessarily serving the whims of the entrepreneur. They're really trying to provide a return for these limited partners. Um, limited partners don't necessarily, let's say they make, uh, well, what they do is they make what's called a commitment. So let's say they tell this VC fund, I'll give you 10 million bucks on Merrill Lynch, right? I'm a bank. These tend to be banks. Uh, they tend to be... Um, pension funds, large institutional investors, or high net worth individuals. So let's say they commit $10 million to this VC fund. It doesn't mean that they write a $10 million check uh, to the VC managers what or the partners. Instead, what they do is they uh, will have capital calls. And a capital call means I will ask you for money as I need it, and you will periodically send me checks. So over the next seven or eight years, I may write uh, 10 $1 million checks instead of writing a single $10 million check. And I don't have to come up with all the money now, it happens over time. So the next big subject that's really important before we talk about individual company dynamics is how do the VCs make money? And these are the partners inside of a VC firm. Uh, there is a principle called 2 and 20, and there's a separate video that explains this. 2 and 20 means they make 2% of management fees, so these are management fees, and they make 20% of profits, right? So uh, if you do the math, if you've got a $150 million fund, right, 2% of that is $3 million. Bucks. So the partners get $3 million just to operate the company, pay salaries, office space, travel. Uh, they, that's, that's a big chunk of money. And then if they make any profits on the investment, uh, they'll get 20% of those profits. So you can see how VC managers uh, and partners make a lot of money. So let's talk about how all the funds would work. We're going to use a fictitious uh, venture fund called Hasselhoff Ventures. Uh, David Hasselhoff, my favorite actor, made a ton of money working on Baywatch. He's a really smart guy, so he puts it all in a venture fund. He hires some competent investment managers, uh, makes them partners in the fund, and then they start investing. So in this case, Hasselhoff would be the limited partner. Uh, who would have provided the funds. Uh, in this case, the limited partners, if the uh, venture partners are getting $20 or 20 or 20% of the profit, the limited partners are getting 80% of the profit. So that's how the limited partners make money. So let's look at fund one and fund two. Um, the reason I talk about this is this is time, and I want to show you the progression over time of how these investments happen. This is year one, year two, year three, etc. cetera. Uh, this is important to understand because you will see how the motivations of the, the uh, venture partners and, and general partners play out over time. So this is fund one, and you've got company number one through company number four, kind of, etc. And you make your first investment here in your very first company very early in the fund, and that company starts to operate. And then you make your second investment slightly after that, third investment, fourth investment in each of these funds. So as time progresses, you're studying these companies, you're doing due diligence, you're deciding whether to invest in them, and then ultimately you're making your first investment. It may not be your last investment. So in this case, these VC funds are going to, they're not going to put in 500 k like a seed fund would. They're going to put in $2 million right in the beginning, and they're going to put in a million here, right? So that as this company progresses, there's two or three things that can happen. Either the company can raise additional money in the future. In this case, uh, they raise another $2 million here, and the VC fund will put more money in. Or if they do poorly, they may uh, disband the company and make a lot of business right away. Uh, the third option would be if the company does well, uh, they get an offer to buy it, and it immediately sells. Uh, it goes through what's called an exit event. Um, that is the goal of the venture capitalist is to exit the company, and that's why we have these little dollar signs here because that's how they make money is that let's say they sell the company to a large company or the company goes public on the public markets. Um, and then their fourth investment here just kind of operates indefinitely. These two companies are doing pretty well, but they haven't exited, and you get over toward year four and year five, and they're kind of, they kind of continue going. 
So meanwhile, you're almost out of money in fund one because remember, I've got a reserve of 8 to 12 million per company. And after I make my 10 or 12 investments, I go out and raise my second fund, which is fund number two. So now let's say fund number two, if fund number one was 150 million, fund number two is 100 million, I start making investments with fund number two. Same pattern. Some of these companies will exist and continue operating and you will do additional rounds of investment. Some will exit uh, and you will sell them for a profit. Uh, some you will disband and they will uh, go out of business because they're doing poorly. But as you can see, there's a number of companies here that kind of continue into the future. So, you know, this guy's going to continue operating and this guy's going to continue operating and this guy is. And so as these companies start to build up that are operating, the managers are sitting on more and more boards. Uh, so that's a big uh, segment of their time. And then pretty soon you start running into this duration problem at seven to nine years. So as these companies come out here to year seven here, uh, the VC guys start thinking about shutting them down. They've got to get their money back to their investors. So they start pushing the companies to either sell or the, the VC fund may sell their shares in the company. So this is where entrepreneurs sometimes get confused is the VC firm cannot operate as an investor indefinitely. They have to get money back to their investors. So there's no way for them to do that without exiting these companies. Also, entrepreneurs will sometimes wonder why the VC manager spends less and less time on their company. Well, you can imagine if you've done 10 investments out of fund one and 12 out of fund two, all of a sudden you're sitting on six or eight boards, you're getting pulled in a lot of directions as a manager. Um, so really important overview. These guys have a certain amount of money to invest. There will be a large chunk that will be allocated to each company. They've got this duration that they have to honor, so they'll have to get out of your company. Uh, they're very sophisticated, so they'll come with a lot of terms. And the way that the managers make money, this is really, really important, is management fees and profits. So they have to sell companies, and they will continue to raise additional funds to increase their management fees. Almost always there will be a fund one, a fund two, a fund three, on into, into the future. Uh, so, and understand, they have investors, and they are essentially driven by creating returns for their investors. Really important dynamics to understand about VC investors. You can tell, unless you've got high growth potential, you're not going to be appropriate for VC investments. You're going to be wasting your time going and pitching to those people and asking for money unless you have a type of company that fits this model.